Welcome back to learning how to play, or rather as we play, uh, Age of Wonders 4, which is a lovely 4X game, which I really quite enjoy for a variety of reasons. It's a pretty good one. And honestly, right now, something I'm seeing, if you play underground, just watch out. If you have lava, you're going to have frame drops like crazy, but only around the lava. Uh, everything else is kind of fine, so to stay away from lava. We just took this city. Uh, it's going to take two turns until they become our vassal, which is fine. And we are trying to move down on their capital city. Now, we need to reinforce our armies, but we're very far away from reinforcing our armies. So, in comes the summoning of stuff. And we have 60, so immediately we click this, we get the thing. We could summon uh, these boys here, a copper pole arm unit. Or we can go for an animal. And we can't really afford the animal because they cost us 12 in upkeep and these cost us only 8. So we're going to go with the lesser option. Just so we got some bodies here to fight. Now I don't understand honestly why from plus 7 we go to minus 7 when we only pay 8 extra. No idea. Ah, I know actually because uh, this unit also got all the enchantments. So their cost goes up proportionally to all the enchantments that we have going, obviously. All right, so that is... Okay, we need to do something about the mana. Uh, also, probably, it doesn't help that we are being kind of taken apart down here, but they are going to turn on their heel once we arrive at their um, capital city. And we're not far away from it. So we just really have to follow this passage here. That's all we got to do. And we'll probably have them before they even get to return. So, don't want to lose your capital city. That is a big no-no. We'll move this unit here, quite honestly, just so we, we have some units standing around looking tough and big and strong. But we need to do something about our mana income. And I believe... Nope, there's nothing we can do here sensibly. Is there something we can do here sensibly? A sonic hole. No. No. Nothing that... No. Uh, adjacent quarry. Do we have anywhere where there would be adjacent quarries? Anywhere in our realm with a lot of adjacent quarries? Not really. It's as close as we get right now. It's the closest we can get. So we'll build this here, right there, and then we're going to switch this. No, can we switch this? No. <laughs> okay, it's, it, it's the worst, best option for us, really. Uh, let's move this unit into this army, so they're merged. You still stand there. I'm not telling them to, to guard stand, because I want to be reminded that I have units here while these are rampaging through our lands. Uh, but something that I find kind of good is that we see one hero and they are much less strong than us. So I'm happy with that. Uh, we have a new Rally of the Lieges, which we're going to use up. Uh, we're not going to recruit or build anything more. We're just going to go here. And honestly, we want to have the Spring Fairy because these are pretty damn good. Can we please get the tooltip? Thank you. Tooltip, hello. Eh. Um, stand together. Yeah, they I get that. Budding strength. True strike. Attacks cannot miss. That's amazing. They're pretty good. Uh, the Winter Fairy is also not too bad. Honestly, let's check. We can see if they have any sort of weakness right now. Uh, please let me... Okay, let's see. Are you weak to anything specific? It doesn't look like it. Do, you, do your troops have any specific weaknesses? Nope. Not really. So whatever we pick is going to be okay. So let us get something with damage. And I think we're going to go with the Winter Fairy. That's all we can afford at this point in this turn. We'll take more next turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care that you capture this. You want a trade proposal? 
why do you want money of us? I don't I don't have money for you. What? Yeah, yeah. Okay. A new rally has started, yeah. Very good. The quarry ruins, it's fine. They they're just gonna take our stuff. That's okay. I don't care. They're going to have a bigger problem in a moment. They are going to have a bigger problem indeed. Now, okay, so these are now our vassals. Which I think is quite nice. Okay, there's an army here. Let's move carefully. Okay, those are those are not a problem for us, I don't think. They shouldn't attack us. But we'll move as one. So now they know we're here. Again, I'm not even gonna uh, go ahead and try and move deeper. Building up our armies over ground. And more from the Rally of the Lieges. And we're going to take the Autumn Fairy too. And new research. Arts and fortifications. Yeah, that sounds good. We'll want this. A city was released as a vassal. Yep. We don't have a Whispering Stone. I don't fully understand why. Uh, because we haven't lost here yet. Let's withdraw Whispering Stone there. That doesn't make sense. And give it to our new little vassal here. Uh, let's give it to them. Getting to collect the things you want to collect sometimes is a little bit harder than it should be. Yeah, we have to decline the gold request proposal for nothing at all. Uh, let's have a quick look on what this lady is doing in our lands. Nothing much, nothing important. We could rebuild this now, but obviously they're just going to jump on it and destroy it again. But they're in a really, 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 really bad position there to help defend their homelands. This is not ideal for them. So we will move in. Okay, we see some more armies. Speaking of not ideal, this might not be ideal for us because our armies are kind of split right now. So these might not all fight together if we are attacked here. And there's more armies than we can see. But these are fairly weak, but there is a hero here. Fairly weak with a hero. Um, we're going to go ahead and just for the sake of it, will we summon an animal? Right there. I don't know. Now, we're just going to trust in the uh, power of our armies. You stand there. That's fine. You're good. You guys. Uh, you link up over here, I think. Our fairies. And, oh, you can build something new. What did I have in mind? I wanted to get this passage for when our people come back out. Uh, that's what I wanted to do. So. Uh, will we do that? Or will we get more of this? Uh, huh? Big question, good question, difficult question. We will... Uh, add a new farm next to the levy camp. Because the levy camp does levy camp stuff for us. Uh, it's close enough. Yeah, it's close enough. Let's reinforce the levy camp. That's fine. And what do we do? What do we do? More defenses? Uh, maybe. Bountiful fields. Uh, later. This is, this is war when we're not at war, basically. That's good for that. Uh, 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 uh. Difficult, difficult, difficult. Bathhouse? Bathhouse. It's not it's not ideal um, what we're doing here. But I never claimed it would be. Ruler Mar Mashara the Radiant was killed, so they are in the void right now. It's okay. I mean they are sympathetic to us. I wouldn't say friendly, but sympathetic for sure. A goddess aid, Queen Ladina, something, something. Oh, okay. Uh, that is uh, that, that. I like this. 
Sometimes this happens. Uh, this is a hero from a from a game I had before. Uh, the ruler of that people. And they are offering the services to us now. So we could uh, hire them. Our goals have been compromised. Yeah, I know. That's fine. And actually what we're going to do, we're going to hire them. Uh, it's going to cost us. But right now, that's fine. And they're, they're fairly cheap to get for us. They cost additional gold, 30 gold, but the hiring is cheap-ish. So we'll do that, and we'll send them over to here. So they form our home defense force, basically. And I can't click that fairy. Sometimes. Really, sometimes. So let's check her out. She has her skills. It's all good. You are, what are you? A little bit support and a little bit of warfare. Do we have something to give you? Uh, we can give you a frost axe, which is potentially better than what you got. So let's do that. I wish we could craft items, honestly. That's something I'm missing because unless you find them, you happen to find them, uh, there's really not much to do for you. Okay, let's bring in our troops here. I'm a little bit worried, a little bit worried, but, um, oh yeah, uh, there's more than we bargained for. So let's bring these in and start the siege. So we don't really have any money for siege projects. That's great. Let's do the power tower bombardment and let's do that. Oh, this is not good. Uh, we definitely want to bring another army down here, but we are not going to be quick enough about it at all. Not at all. So, yeah, we're going to go in debt a little bit. Uh, we're going to summon a wild animal <laughs> to, <laughs> to just be part of this. Nice, we got a level 2 spider. So they're just going to join here. Uh, we can annex another region. Very good. Um... Uh, let's see, what do we do? Another forest? <laughs> uh, I mean... Sh uh, uh, I'm insecure. You might not be able to tell, but I am insecure right now about what to do. What might be the right moves and what might be the wrong ones. Uh, we'll get... Get. Uh, <laughs> I'm agonizing about these choices at this moment. Absolutely agonizing over it. Uh, let's build another farm. Uh, maybe. All right. Uh, we could make everyone a little bit happier with this. This would be good, I believe. Um, everyone a little bit happier. Uh, yeah, there's some good options more, but right now I'm I'm just so worried out of my mind about this war we're in. What we could do, obviously, is uh, we 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 could we could offer peace. We could offer peace right now and get out of this war. But at this point in time, like let's see, uh, we become overlord. They would take that for 983 gold. Which is weird. Um, make peace for 419 gold. Which is also a little bit weird. Um, but this here is bad. Like this. They have the defensive position. They can still reinforce. Uh, this is bad. This is bad. And we are deep in debt on our magics. Uh, we can help that a little bit. And we might actually want to help that a little bit. By checking our active enchantments. And kicking out a bunch of them. For example. I think. Um, uh, I think we can live without the sundering blades. Uh, this isn't too great a loss. We could also check our armies up here. 
and see which one are the most mana intense. And we'll see this one here is pretty mana intense. We have four turns left on the siege. I don't think we can bring another army down there. I don't think we have the time. Though they can move fairly far, but this is in our own territory. So that doesn't count directly. Ah, they moved away. Meaning they are going to reinforce their troops. So we can go attack them there now. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to move these. I'm going to join these. And we're going to move these. And we'll attack them here. As they go and try and defend their capital. We'll have to have an eye out. Though I don't know even if we are going to see them coming. That's a little bit of my worry at this point. Adding to the plethora of worries I already have. Which, as you can tell, is are quite a few. And... Boy, howdy. Boy, howdy. I'll save a little bit of money. Do we have... Oh, yeah, wait, 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 we have a vassal. We have a vassal. We have a vassal. You, trade with me. And sadly, I can only pay them in mana. I was hoping that I could pay them for mana, but I can't. There's an underground passage. There that is. I don't know. Okay, that goes in here. So they will have to sail. Oh, okay, there's another one. Where does this go? There. Does this have a route to where we are? Yes. So that is where they're going to come from. Wait, does it? No, this is a solid wall. So they have to go around here and come up from the south. But they might just be able to do that. They might just be able to do that. They might just be able to do that. Boy, oh boy. So we will just have to threaten them on two fronts, basically. Uh, to, to hopefully alleviate some of our issues. They're not entirely gone from our lands, but they've withdrawn slightly to defend their capital. And the second we see them, we're going to withdraw. We're not going to even pretend that we can fight this battle, because we cannot. They will absolutely slaughter us. Honestly, let's build this. Let, let, let's build the sanctuary. Let's build the wildlife sanctuary here. We have so many foresters. Per adjacent province with forest. Uh, so anything where there is a forest. So we'll build it here. This should have the greatest impact. Message received. Yeah, sure. Okay, let's have a defensive pact. Cool. Let's see if you are actually up to your word. Let's share some vision. Maybe she can see stuff that's important to us. Let's do all this stuff here. All the treaties. And this. Now there is a way for us to see if we have a chance, honestly. Uh, yeah, yeah, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Nothing to be done about you guys. Oh, well. Actually... We, we, we would be the first to talk to you properly. We, we, that is a little bit weird. No, no, you're already a vassal. You're already a vassal. Um, there is a way for us to see whether or not we're even in a, in a fighting position, if we have a fighting chance. Um, if we click on up here on the score, uh, there, and then we click on the military ranking, we can see where we are. And we are above them. So, eh, maybe... But that counts our big strong army here, which is not down there where we need it right now. So I'm not... Mm, uh, not too confident. Alright. So they haven't appeared yet, but they're probably somewhere there. I would, I would wager a guess they're about here. My problem is they might just be able to attack us right out before we even see them. So what we're going to do is we're going to move this spider over to here because it's the closest to down there and maybe that's just like the one one step the one step that's gonna save us here maybe 
just maybe. Okay, they have abandoned all their positions. Ah, not all their positions, but almost all of them. So let's bring our troops down here. And start... No, we can't rebuild because they're still sitting in our stuff. Arts and fortifications can be built now. Ooh, this would be good. Um, Mass Recall has a great spell right now. Uh, teleporting armies back. That we're going to take. <laughs> uh, just for that. Just for this one... Seven turns. It's not going to help us. But soon we're gonna be happy to have it. Plus it unlocks Chrono Gate, which is good because a normal teleporter actually costs you mana, whereas a Chrono Gate gives you stuff rather than um, take away your stuff, which is good. Are we at war with Dwarf Boy? We are not, so I don't need to worry about this army just yet. Oh. My nerves. My nerves are shattered. Uh, let's build you... Uh, let's let's build a defender. Just yes, resource so shortage, mana. I'm aware. I'm quite aware of our troubles here. All right. Uh, let's attack this. It's a long siege. We're not going to build any siege projects. I just want to show, hey, we exist on several fronts. How, how dare you? Is there anything that can give us mana? This, per adjacent quarry. Which would be good if we had any adjacent quarries anywhere, which we just do not have. And I don't like the look of this. I do not like the look of this one bit. Do we have any quarries here? Actually, we. I don't think we ever built... Ah, uh, there. They're up there. There's a quarry or two. So we could build that there. But we can't... Where is it? We can't even build it here. Oh, no. Uh, uh. Oh, boy. Boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. Okay. Where are they? They still haven't shown up. I don't like this. I do not like this. I am quite scared, I must say. Okay, uh, we can't produce much. We are on resource shortage. Shortage. Um, would you like to buy the grievance? No, you don't want to buy the grievance. Uh, can we trade with you at all? Would you like to give us mana? Uh, yes, but we can't afford your mana. Would you give us one time mana we can, we can afford? Yeah, 68 for, for... I'll take that deal. I'll take that deal. Absolutely. Um, you there. Lady person friend that's slightly actually friendly to us. You are also going to give us some mana. Okay. Okay, very good. We'll, we'll do that then. We'll do that then. Huh. I mean, this could be good. This could be terrible. My 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 nightmare scenario is they just pop out of the mist and immediately attack us. Are you at war with more people though? Yes. So maybe you're sending your troops elsewhere. I don't know. Um Oh Growth is blocked for one turn. I can deal with that. That's fine. I, I can deal with growth being blocked for one singular turn. Ah, okay, okay, very good. Um, they have sent some troops here to try and defend this. This is okay. But I think those were the troops that were lingering around there anyway. So it's not too big of a win on our end. Um, let's have a forester right there. You produce that, that's fine. Can't really afford anything. I don't like this. Why are you on my lands? What's going on here? Uh, mana. Mana, mana, mana. Still our main problem, really. And we don't really have anything to do about that. Uh, hmm. State Hall. Arcane Institute. Nah. 
Ay, 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 ay. I'd spilled another night. Oh, which we can barely afford in any way, shape, or form. Nothing here for us to do because we don't have any mana anyway. Uh, hello, Empire Skills. Is there something that gives us mana? <laughs> Special province improvements grant us plus five gold. That's not bad. That's actually something really useful for us. Province annexation summons an animal. That costs just more mana. Thank you. Uh, this doesn't help us with mana. This doesn't help us with mana. This does not help us with mana. This does not help us with mana. Uh, so we'll go for the gold then at least. That that helps us actually. Like there's a tangible benefit for that. Other rulers defensive pact. Who? Uh, I don't care. Well, I might care eventually. That's that might be a problem for us. Can't have an alliance yet. Will you sell me more mana again? Yes! For cheap, too! Good stuff. Uh, hey, dwarf. Will you sell me mana again? Yes! Affordable mana prices everywhere! <laughs> okay. This is... This is, uh... A terrible economy I've built here. This is not working. Oh, man. I'm so scared of her popping up and killing us. Oh, 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 there are, uh, uh, but we can attack now, so we will attack now, and we will auto-combat this, and hope that it goes the wellish. Okay, we only lost the spider and the troll. <sighs> um, okay, uh, we will migrate this city to our own people. Which is a bit of an evil thing, but we are good enough to absorb that evil hit. Um, oh, yes. This might just be the animal army that we saw. Might just be. Okay, let's throw this spider in our main army. Let's move them here. Sit them down. Everyone move in on the city and just kind of exist there. Uh... We'll summon another animal, because <laughs> quite honestly, uh, we don't have all that much in terms of options. This was just this little worm boy. They still have a chance to take this back now, uh, so I'm, skill I'm still slightly scared. But we have eliminated two armies of theirs uh, sitting down there, so that's good. And we're threatening another border, so yeah, all in all, uh, potentially acceptable. In terms of what we're achieving here. Right, 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 right. Uh, since we're buying our mana, let's get more gold in our world here. And let's buy some more mana. <laughs> Eventually they're going to run out. Of mana to sell us. Uh, did I just talk to you? No. I talked to her first. Oh, I don't even have that anymore. <laughs> oh, boy. Let's keep going a little bit. Oh, no. The dwarves just declared war on us. Why? I don't understand this, honestly. They didn't have any grievances against us. That just... They have cited the following reasons. Floria and Askea, which is us, became an enemy through a call of war. Who called you to war? What? Okay, we can't make peace with you. Can we make peace with Blue Chick? How much does it cost us? Nothing. So we'll take this. So we're out of this war. They weren't a threat as such, but at least we're out. But this... This is what I was worried about. This is what I was worried about. Yep. Them just standing and stacking there and immediately attacking us fully. So, uh, yeah. What we're going to do is we'll beat this army down here and we lift the siege. I don't care about this. Uh, we'll destroy them. Lose a little bit of unit power, but that's fine. Uh... Celebrating the defeat of Taina uh, Greyblood. So she's defeated now by us, I believe. Or by the... By, I don't know. 
We took their city. She died somewhere. She's now defeated. So that's one less problem. Um, we could guide her to Mage Heaven, which gives us... No, it costs us mana. Uh, we could manipulate the Fading Zeal uh, to conjure Divine Gold. Uh, we can't celebrate her because we don't have the money. Uh, so we'll take the gold and lose the alignment. And that'll be that. Um, now, so they are destroyed and they are now free cities. So we're going to give them a Whispering Stone in hopes of returning them to our side. And we're going to move our army back to defend the homeland. Ah. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, and we're going to move our troops from below up as well. Um, where does this passage lead? Here. That doesn't help us. Uh, so, if I see this correctly, we have to walk all the way back. Wait, no. There's another passage. Where does this lead? That doesn't help us either. Um, yo, we basically have to walk all the way back. Because we do not have a teleporter and we can't do mass recall yet. And it doesn't help us because the nearest city is elsewhere anyway. So we're just going to beeline home. And hope we make it before the dwarf wrecks us upstairs. Basically our 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 whole pull right now. So something we could do is release this city to be a vassal. Um... Because it's kind of hard to defend for us at this moment. But maybe they don't come for it. So we'll leave it. We'll leave it as it is this instance. Uh, and she can become here the overlord. That's fine. That's good. And... Yeah, she has been defeated, which is nice. Uh, orders are required. Yeah, you're going to sit there. You're going to defend until reinforcements arrive, basically, is what's going to happen. Um, and I think we're going to invest in our main city. Because, actually, I never had an enemy army this close to home. Not ever once. Uh, let's build the arts and fortifications. Which takes forever and are probably not done before an invasion happens. So let's build something that gives us some more uh, production power. So we'll build another quarry back here, away from them. So they don't immediately destroy it because they're destroying our entire economy right now with just like two units. And we can't even do anything about it because they are positioned in such a way where our troops just simply cannot defeat their troops. <laughs> oof. Big oof. Right. Uh, yeah, I don't... I don't. I don't have anything to build there. I'm so sorry. Um, nothing sensible to do here either. Oh, man. What a pickle we're in. What a pickle. At least we won that one war. And we can't negotiate a peace right now. Because this is just... Nope. Uh, we can try next turn. Maybe. I want to get out of that war. Right now, we are not really in a good situation here. And I'm not happy. I'm not happy with how fluid relationships are in this game. It appears that treaties mean very little up to nothing. Okay, so can I get out of this war now? Uh, no. War duration. Greater than five. We're in two, so... All right, then. Let's move our troops. There's always a chance that they're going to try and intercept us. So we will try and stick close to our city, sort of. And in two turns, we're going to be there. Let's recruit some stuff here. Uh, let's recruit. What do we recruit? Another knight. They have a lot of knights, don't they? Let's see. They have a lot of knights. That's one... Two. Yeah, actually, actually, it's not too strong what's up here. I think the troops we're bringing in are going to be fine dealing with this. Uh, let's build something then. That doesn't cost us too much mana upkeep. That does not 
cost us too much mana upkeep. Why are you not hearing me, game? There, we slowly get there. We could build a banner man. Get some more support in our units. Okay, that's fine. We'll do that. And we can get some more liege stuff going, which we're also definitely going to do. Two ogres. Well, one ogre is what we can afford. Um, or the spring fairy as some support, but she costs us a lot of magic upkeep. Them less so, so let's, let's do that. And we'll just rush back home in hopes of reaching and potentially saving our homelands. But I'm a little less worried now. Slightly less worried. Could build a chrono gate. Should make some sense. Uh, this will be per adjacent conduit or research thing. I don't think we even have a research thing, do we? No, but we could build a research. Could we build a research? Yeah. Oh, there is one. So we'll build it on top of our quarry there. So we'll build the chrono gate here. And another ruler started negotiations. Fine. Is it with these? Yeah, it's with these. Okay, we boost. We pay for the boost. We want the dwarves to lose out here. And we'll end our turn again. And this is turning into a long episode, but yeah, that's that's the problem with war, right? Okay, they're all getting on their ships now after destroying all of our stuff. Uh, draft in Harrington is blocked for two, but she becomes part of a recruitment pool. We could get a spider hatchling bell. And we definitely want that. We want the Pact of Cooperation. Quick. Or we go for this. She loves her youngest daughter. And we reach the Pact immediately. Mm. Or we lose our spider well. Okay, we go for this. 80% chance it goes right. This far, things haven't been going our way. So let's see. Ooh, very good. So this went our way at least. So we overtook the dwarves in dealing with this free city here. Um, and we can boost allegiance again. Which we will definitely do. Ah, uh, and they are all moving away, but that's fine. We don't care too much because our armies from up here can just go down there. Then, right, right. So we'll bring them home. Still, where are they? There they are. Out here now, please forward. Forward. Mass recall, very good. Now we have that going. Mm, no. Maybe. <laughs> uh, siege project, sure. Let's do that. And what else do we do? You c you definitely need a we build a chrono gate down here. Uh, definitely need this. Absolutely, one hundred percent. Definitely need a chrono gate, but a gate down here. Otherwise, we'll never reach the city ever again. <laughs> um, so that's a good idea. That's some money we can spend now. We have some points left, but nothing to buy for the points, and we can start rebuilding our stuff now. And no, we cannot because they have decided that they are attacking us now from the south. It's fine. We're gonna be fine. Trust me. Uh, and we'll see about whether or not I'm right next time. But this is crazy. It's a small game, honestly. But the things that have happened so far... Lordy. Lordy, lordy, lordy. Thank you very much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them down in the comments. And I'll see you around next time. Oh, until then, bye-bye.